Today we're doing um, how to cook red peas or red kidney bean, right? Rice and peas. Oh, rice and peas, yeah. Jamaican style. Jamaican style. It. All right. Show with the peas. Red, red kidney, kidney beans. Bean. Yeah, and we're doing it from scratch. So that means you have to um, measure your peas. Measuring out a, a cup and a half. Now, normally, uh, One cup. normally, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you soak your peas for you know overnight or, or you know or however ever long, and then you cook it in a regular pot. So you're going to wash it, your peas now. Why you keep locking out the light? Good. This is the pressure cooker, folks. So you wash your peas thoroughly. Make sure they clean. Yeah, I can't show you another another the 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 sink. Right. We're gonna have two cups of water. Ellen. Then you add two cups of water to the pot that is. To the pot that is. Oh no. <laughs> so that's two cups of water. Maybe three. Maybe about three. <laughs> and then you add the peas. And to that I'm going to put two cloves of garlic. And this is known to tenderize the peas real quick. So that is one of my secret ingredients. <laughs> so you're not putting nothing else, no salt, no nothing? No, nothing. The only thing you're trying to do is get the, the peas like semi-soft before you start the rest of the cooking process. So nothing else is relevant. Just the peas and the garlic. So my um, peas has been fully cooked. I pressured it for maybe 30 minutes and then I finished it off on the stove top for maybe 15 minutes. And now I'm about to add my coconut milk. So let me ask you a question. Is it the, the peas where, where that makes it so red? Of course, it's the peas that makes it so red. It's red kidney bean. Oh, so you don't have to add no food coloring or nothing to it? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Some of the kidney beans are light in color and it don't give it such a pretty color. So look for the red, dark red kidney beans so that you get a nice pretty color. A and nice pretty color? Yeah, now I'm about to add a whole pack of coconut milk because I like it very flavorful with the coconut milk. And you're using Grace coconut milk? Yeah, and I'm adding that to some hot water and just diluting it in the hot water. If you try to use cold water, it does not dissolve readily. So, hot water it is. And just pour the entire contents of the package in the bowl or in the jar or in the cup or in whatever you have. How much water is that? You're just, just doing matter. it to taste. Yeah, right. it don't really matter. So why didn't you just throw it to the um throw the, the, the coconut milk into the peas? Because I don't want my peas to mash out. So I don't want to excessively stir the pot to dilute the coconut milk and in the process that I'm going to mash out the peas. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. So that's fine. Alright. So I'm just pouring that into the pot. And the flavor that this adds is amazing. I think this is the key ingredient to rice and peas, the coconut milk. Not, not, mm -mm, it's just not the same without it. All right, so having added that, I'm gonna add some seasonings. Seasonings, every now and then she add a little bit And more. I add about two <laughs> stalks of scallion, chopped up, and half of an onion, and one additional garlic. So. Skellion, little bit of onion, garlic, cloves. Yes. And I'm just add, allowing that to boil before I add the rice, alright? So, this will be boiling for maybe another 10 or so minutes. So, so yeah, it has been 10 minutes and I'm now adding my washed um, rice. This is two and a half cups of jasmine rice that I'm adding to the peas. 
Get your rice right, on the ground. All over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oi, oi. Yeah. And in order to determine how much water to add, I have to stir it into the peas actually. And then you use the one inch test? No. We can't use one inch test with, with hot water. You want your finger burn up? Use it with a spoon. What is one inch spoon? Use a finger and measure it. Not the back. <laughs> you have to use the back. Yeah, it's about one inch. But I'm gonna add a little bit more just because. But anywho, to my rice and peas, I try to add some all purpose seasoning to give it flavor. It's all about the flavor. We love the flavor around here. And remember, the adobo, ladies and gentlemen, has salt in it, so you don't have to add any more extra salt. You have to salt. add more, but not much more. Right, you have to taste and, taste and bite. Yeah, so I add about a teaspoon of the adobo. And, of course, you don't have a dish without some freshly ground black pepper. Hallelujah. The basement grinder. Mix that in. And now I'm going to just taste a little bit of it. Of course, you don't put the spoon in your mouth. Duh. Mm. It needs salt, man. Hold on. So I'm going to give like about 10 twists of salt. <laughs> <laughs> And cooking is all about um, your taste because I mean different people have different restrictions so you're gonna just cook it according to your restrictions and to, according to your taste and see how it come out so I think that's fine for now and of course for flavor again we're adding some butter not too much not too much yeah just two two tablespoons of butter and finally, yeah, I don't think I need any more water because you don't want it to get, you know, like, oh, what's the word in Jamaica? Soft or soggy? Plucko, plucko. Oh, a Jamaican word. <laughs> Remember that we're in foreign, we really don't talk like that in, in foreign. Thank you. And the magic. Pow! Caribbean the sunshine. The real deal. The real, this is the real Jamaican scotch bonnet pepper. Remember I told you. Woo! And that will seal the deal, say, just close up your pot. And allow it to simmer. And I eat that. So this is it guys. After 45 minutes our finished product or rice and peas. And it's just being served up with some very tasty looking cow foot with beans. And don't be afraid to try it. I mean it's, it's Jamaican in culture but it can be incorporated in anybody's dish. So check it. Yeah, yeah, take too long. I'm ready for my food. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the belly in a foreign rice and peas. Done the Jamaican way, the original way, yeah? And serve with some cow foot and beans. And I tell you, my fuck in my hand and I'm ready to go.